All right. Number one, please, Colin. Number one? All right. Remember, this is in six. Was the, was the pattern consistent for all six beats typically the same way? I feel good about it, yeah. Uh, just in terms of your gesture, you're, you're, you've developed that, that finger click mm -hmm. affectation in your left hand as an attempt to mirror exactly what you're feeling in your right hand. Mm -hmm. And I want you to get out of that habit because ultimately what that left hand is gonna do, as we've tried to experiment a little bit this semester, is that's going to do more shaping and guiding of the line and the phrasing. And so they're going to have to develop more independence. And if you get used to making that exclusively mirrored, then, uh, then that's going to be a hard habit to break later on down the line. Um, now that we've had a couple of terms tests, is there, if, if you didn't see on Dante at the beginning of that, and not necessarily thinking especially about tempo, but about the character of the, of the music that Colin brought about to his interpretation. What terms would you, would you put there instead of on Dante? So more of a moderato. Okay. So you felt like? Yeah, I, th I thought it was a little bit more, more quickened. Okay. What about the feeling of the music, like a descriptor word, a stylistic term? Just, just in your, in terms of your experience of playing it and, and hearing it through Colin. I think you could be called espresso. Okay, Alan. Um, it's probably more to the tempo than to the style. It's like uh, playing a walking pace. You just, you just walk. So it shouldn't be like a so Okay, like. Colin. In terms of your interpretation of the style, is this um, a more legato style or more marcato or staccato? I was I was going for a legato style, but as you said, with the that mirroring the left hand, almost made it feel as if it were staccato. Or try the very <coughs> beginning of it again, if you would, and purposely try to get a more legato or fluid feel to your pattern. Okay. And it's okay to mirror. Just try to get rid of that fingertip flick. All right. Just hold it more flat. Okay. But we're we're after a more legato feel here. Almost cantabile, very singing. <laughs>
time where we're trying to get a little bit more cantabile or legato style, take a look at the video and see how much wrist motion you used that time compared to the first time. <coughs> see if you should be doing more or doing less to get even more legato of a feel out of it. That's just something I'm throwing at you on the fly. You're doing everything else really nicely. Thanks, Colin.